Hello, and welcome to the Friday episode of Couch Funded. I'm George, and I have a guest here today. For I'm guest, a guest. A guest reviewer. <laughs> who, are you, who are you? I'm Aileen. Awesome. Well, I, we're here together because we. Uh, this is kind of a... It's our couch. It's, it's our couch, and it could also be a toy break brief um, as well. What's a toy break? Toy break is our other show that you can watch at toybreak.com. You can watch it every week. Every oh, Tuesday, um, but this is Couch Funded, so let's talk about What's some things. Couch Funded. Couch Funded is a show that we're doing where we talk about crowdfunding and things like that. You mean things like Kickstarter and Indiegogo and exactly. GoFundMe? Exactly. Um, and on Fridays, we review things that have come in since we've backed. Is it them. Friday? It is Friday, hopefully, and uh, or whatever day it is when you're watching this. And we have one right here. Fantastic. This this was a Kickstarter. Um, it was called Yoga Joe's. The, it is called Yoga Joe's, the classic green army men doing yoga by Dan Abramson. Hmm. <laughs> so first thing we see is a, a thank you from uh, Yoga Joe's. Dear loyal backer, I can't thank you enough for supporting this Yoga Joe's Kickstarter. The idea was birthed in a coffee shop in San Francisco while discussing funny ways to convince men to try yoga with my friend Paul. Um, so blah, blah, blah. Thank you for doing this. All the best. If you'd like to find out more Yoga Joe's, Visit brogamats.com. How does that, that, every time you say it, just make you want to go, Yoga Joe? I, I don't know. It doesn't. Uh, well, let's tell a little Yo bit Joe. about the campaign before we get into ba- what, what this looks like. There, was, there were 2,879 backers, which is pretty amazing for a kind of toy project. Uh, they had originally asked for $40,000 as the goal, okay. and they raised $108,065. Dang! Which is pretty amazing. Pretty awesome. Uh, we backed at the pledge level of $20. It, w- it was told that it would be a Christmas delivery, a complete set of six Yoga Joes, in a schmancy display case with bamboo flooring. Um, oh, schmancy. Now, it didn't actually come in in time for Christmas, so they sent out an update with a printable slip just in case you got it as a gift for someone Mm -hmm. that you can print out it was like a almost like an army certificate um i didn't need to do that since i got it for myself Mm -hmm. um but that was nice that they offered that when they couldn't deliver in time that is nice is this also an appropriate time to tell people or recommend to people because you're such a a backer of like you've backed a lot of projects online um it's not always a good idea to trust in dates for holidays to think that a gift is going to come i wouldn't trust in the date at all um, right. Most of the people that are running these including things, us. including <laughs> us, um, most of the people that are running Kickstarter campaigns or Indiegogo or any of those things um, are usually first time creators. Mm-hmm. Um, so they might not understand logistics of shipping and receiving and, and even if customs you do understand and all that, that stuff. You can't always control shipping and customs. You can and never control it. issues <laughs> overseas. You know, there's all sorts of things. So. so things come up where the date that they thought it would take, it ends up not doing that. It ends up becoming quite far past that sometimes but if you know that i think um, it's okay it's easier to plan what kind of things you're going to back yeah um and you can still back it as a gift and i've seen this happen a lot where if they're going to miss a certain holiday they will send out something to help people who are giving it as a gift and even though it's a bummer that you don't get the thing the spirit of the gift is still there and right. intact so i think it's fine um and the spirit of the pledge is to help get the thing made no matter what right and we're, it doesn't really the date that it comes to me doesn't matter so much i'm here to help projects succeed and i'd like to see people make new things so if it's off by a couple months this was estimated december they delivered in february so too bad it really wasn't that bad it wasn't too it was two months late just in time for valentine's um and i really am okay with that so let's see what we actually got let's see what their schmancy box is this is the 20 dollar level you said this was the 20 dollar level um and that was 20 dollars shipped i believe so it's schmancy it's There's pretty schmancy. Far less bamboo than I anticipated. I don't know what um, I was expecting. Also, if you, oh, bamboo flooring, I if guess you look, coming. they originally said it was only going to be six figures, but since they reached so far, they ended up with nine. Hmm. Congratulations Which to is them. probably also part of the thing that helps push. A lot of time, uh, stretch goals will end up pushing a campaign because it's far beyond what the creator was originally intending to make, and that ends up pushing some things a little further back just because it takes longer to make more things now are you going to put this back in your schmancy box no i mean these are this is probably going to be taken out there's no point in keeping it in this little plastic case just curious oh you're falling out already okay so here's a little oh it is a little piece of bamboo smells like glue like a rig of bamboo oh it's like a little rig of bamboo um how do we get these guys out of here Are they glued? Oh, they're kind of taped in. They're taped to each other. 
Done. That easy. Okay. So they don't... This is interesting. They don't really feel like army men. Oh. Are these ABS? These are like an ABS type plastic, I believe. Um, their whole thing was they wanted to make yeah. a very sustainable, recyclable thing, and they didn't want to use normal PVC. Um, while I give them credit for trying something, it's not the way I would have went. <laughs> The nice thing about them being ABS is their yoga mats are going to stay nice and flat. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, all right. Well, my initial thought, the first thing is they're great. Like it's as a novelty item. It's a very like something you'd find in accoutrements. Accoutrement. Accoutrement. It's a, it's kind of a novelty item. Um, something funny on your desk at work kind of thing. It's got that the look of the of the old green army men. They got the color right. The colors there. My my biggest concern or my biggest beef with this. There's no happy baby. Um, as a sculptor, <laughs> myself, the sculpting on these is pretty terrible. Like it just looks like a mush. I think they're supposed to look that way. I mean, they are because of the because of the material they're made out of. I think they had some Lost limits, some limitations that they were able to go to get. Um, I would like to know more about this material. It's a, it's on the website if you go I know, to Kickstarter. I know, I need to go, I need to go um, look. You can, you can check it all out at their Kickstarter. They talk about what it is and the, the different kinds of things that they got going on here. Um, I, the poses are great. I like all the poses. I think the the idea of the project is funny. This one I could never do. That was a tough one. <laughs> that, was a, that was a tough one for I don't me. think I've ever tried that. Crane, I think it is, or something like that. Um, this one's probably my favorite. The little, what is this, sun salutation or something? I think that is, like when he's going through those sun salutations yeah. as part of it. I like that. I don't do that. I can't do this one either. <laughs> Standing on my head. This one's nice and easy. I could do this. Oh. <laughs> Sitting? Um, this one I like to do, tree pose. That's how do you a fun feel about, one. How do you feel about the bases? I like the look of the little mat. I think it's funny. It looks like a little yoga mat. I think it's cool that obviously some of them need bases because of the, the angle. The feet would just not support them or like this guy on his one foot. That's not going to balance. So it's really cool that, you know, they obviously it's made by a company, you know, the Broga mats. But it's cool to incorporate that as the base instead of just the regular little I kind of wish they were all on. Base. I kind of wish they were all on mats, even though the, some of them don't need the mat. Just because mm. they are supposed to be like in a yoga class. Oh, interesting. Like, you're not going to go do your hand... I guess maybe you wouldn't do the handstand on a mat, so... Because you're... And you may not sit on a mat. Yeah, but it's nice and soft on your body. <laughs> well, here, then put him... On the here, front of the they mat. Can, they can hang out um, and share. These these are great. It's a fun project. Um, I w I'm happy to back it. I think $20 is a good price. Um, I don't know. They're probably still for sale at the at the dude's website. You can go to brogamats.com and check it out. Um, Brogamats, he started as a... Uh, he was making like yoga mats for dudes. Like it was uh, camouflage. Oh, I get it. There was like one that's <laughs> camouflage and one that's like, I think wooden or something like that. Like just the look of all that on a yoga mat instead of like a big fuchsia purple thing, you know. So right. That, so dudes can go take yoga and not be afraid Dude of purple yoga. for some reason. Even though I so, like, I, don't, I have a purple mat. I'm fine with that. Question. Yeah. Are they doing a second series of these? Is that a thing? I. You know what? He hasn't announced one yet, but uh, I. I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, I he know. had how many backers that were in there? Like 2,879 backers. There's more seems poses. Like, like, seems like you could keep going with poses. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, these are the these are some classic poses, though. What else? I mean, there's Happy Baby. It's kind of that right there. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a few more poses you could get in, I'm sure. Um, I would add to it. I would probably back it again. He did a great job. Um, even though, like I said, I'm, the sculpting's a little lacking. I'd like to see them beefed out a little bit. And It's more of a gift and novelty, not necessarily a toy, if that yeah, makes sense. They're not really toys. They're kind of, I think a, a little kid would probably break this fairly quickly. Do you quickly. think little kids would like playing with this? I don't think so. <laughs> this is more of an adult entertainment. Like, look at my army men. They're yeah. doing yoga. This is something for your desk or if you have a yoga studio or yes. something. Like, you just put it out there. Still a fun idea. Uh, yeah, that's great. So check it out. And again, that was a Kickstarter. So thanks for watching. You can follow me at George Gaspar on Twitter. And how about you? Can they follow you anywhere? They can. You can follow me at Aileen Gaspar. And you can watch our other show, like we said, Toy Break at toybreak.com every week.
And that's it for Couch Funded this week, this Friday. See you on Wednesday. Bye.